Hey, everybody. I've been talking a lot about uh, online scams lately. In particular, I've been talking about romance scams, uh, partly because uh, many of my photos, you may know already, have been used in these romance scams. Basically, the perpetrators uh, will take photos of people on the internet, set up uh, fake dating profiles, and con women into these uh, fake romantic re relationships that often end up in the victim giving uh, quite a bit of money to some of these scammers. One of the things that I've heard from the victims is, uh, in cases where they've used my photographs, is they are so convinced and that the one convincing moment that they've had is when they saw me on video via Skype. And that confused me for a while because obviously I'm not talking to these victims via Skype. So I wanted to find out exactly how I might do that if I wanted to uh, figure out a way to actually take videos of me that you might find on the internet and use it over Skype. So I did a little bit of searching today. Um, uh, a tool that I found uh, today was something called ManyCam. Uh, and ManyCam, I'm sure it has a lot of really great purposes, instructional purposes and so on. But this is one of many tools that probably could be used very uh, easily in scams like this. Uh, and it matches what I've heard from victims in terms of what actually happened. So um, to set up something like this, just to give you an idea, uh, a little bit of literacy um, at this point about how you know, uh, this sort of thing, uh, this tool can be used. If you, um, first of all, find a video, and there's all sorts of different videos of me online, and this particular one, that would be one that probably uh, you could certainly see uh, kind of a YouTube, uh, sort of a, a, a screen uh, webcam type quality type video. And in this particular one, I'm actually talking right at the screen or at some unknown audience if you watch the actual video. Um, to download this video, there's a lot of tools that you can use to download videos from the internet. So for instance, KeepVid is a very popular one. The one I use is uh, Clip Converter. And uh, the way that I've got that set up is actually, you can do it right from the website, but I have it as a Chrome extension. So you can download videos right underneath any particular video that you're viewing on the web. So it downloads to the desktop and it's really, really easy. Now, ManyCam, I've got that downloaded at this point. Um, basically, what you can do is you can pop multiple sources into ManyCam. So that could be multiple cameras, but also could be media clips. And I've got it set up here. Uh, hopefully, you can see this. So it looks something like this. And basically, you'd have your regular cam here, but then you can click on plus and um, go to uh, media files. And I've already saved that video to the desktop just to make it easier here. And basically it's right set up and queued. And if I wanted to run this, basically I would just have to pull up something like Skype or Google Hangouts or something else like that. Um, go to my Skype preferences. I'm, I'm using a Mac, it would be a bit different on a PC. Um, go to audio video. And you'll notice that you can actually change a camera. So you can actually choose many cam as your camera. So you can go back to, from my Logitech normal camera, the one I'm using right now, or to my many cam virtual cam. And all I have to do here, basically, while I'm in Skype is set the movie source over there. And you can see very quickly um, the, the video. Now it's not moving right now because I'm not in a video chat, but you can give a sense of how that might uh, work. But it can be very convincing. Um, when you do something like this, you know, and that's kind of made me pause because, you know, you might say, well, you know, once you've seen someone on video, then obviously that's that person. But I think this is a really kind of a, an important lesson, I guess, that there's a lot of ways to digitally, you know, do fraud, uh, you know, especially when it comes to these romance scams. So uh, and, and in particular cases, although I'm not talking in the video, what I, what's been reported, obviously, is sometimes they will say, well, the web, um, the connection isn't really good. So there might not be audio or the video might cut out very quickly. You can see how that might uh, convince some of the victims even further. So um, just a little bit of uh, web literacy today. Um, and hopefully uh, you can actually share this with others. And uh, just, just so people know that this is the kind of thing that happens. And this is, uh, it seems to be a very um, uh, common thing that scammers might do to really trick you into being, into thinking that they're someone else. So take care.